Okay, so there is a lot to break down in chapter 2 of the Zhuangzi. And to me, one of the larger and more difficult parts of this chapter is the discussion on this and that. You should really go read it for yourself just to get an idea of everything that's being said, because honestly, it's a little too much to go over in one video. However, Zhuangzi does share a charming little story that I think kind of cuts to the heart of what's being said, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you. When the monkey trainer was handing out acorns, he said, You get three in the morning and four at night. This made all the monkeys furious. Well then, he said, you get four in the morning and three at night. The monkeys were all delighted. There was no change in the reality behind the words, and yet the monkeys responded with joy and anger. Okay, so it's pretty easy for us to chuckle at the obvious logical fallacy here, namely that four acorns in the morning is better than three in the morning, even if it comes out to the same amount by the end of the day. It's easy to say this, but the story really got me wondering what kinds of things take the place of the acorns in our lives. What kinds of things do we make a big fuss over when really it's all just kind of the same hamburger? This made me think of something funny that happened to me a few months ago. So my family and I live in a pretty small place and we don't really have an attic or much of a storage space except for a small area that sits behind a door at the back of our carport. When we moved to this place, some of our things were in waterproof totes. And since we don't use them often enough to keep them in the house, but we still do use them, we had just kind of kept a lot of these totes in the carport where we could easily get to them. We weren't too bothered by this because a lot of the totes just ended up sitting on top of some of the ladders and pallets that were already there. But the cumulative effect of all this is that you can't quite pull the cart all the way into the carport. The back one third of it or so sticks out. Well, one day my dad was over at the house and he got looking at the carport and he said, hey, why don't we go ahead and move all these totes into the little storage space so that you can pull your car in all the way. I agreed and we set to work. It took us about two hours, and it required us to almost completely unload the storage shed so that we could stack everything more tightly with the totes inside. However, the ladders and pallets had to stay there because there wasn't room for them anywhere else. At the end of the day, my wife and I took a look at what we had done and realized that we had just worked for about two hours, and the end result was that we could now pull the car about one single foot farther into the carport. Besides that, we can no longer easily access the things in the totes because now they're packed in the storage area so tightly that we no longer even bother with them. In the end, we felt like we would honestly have been better off to just have left the things where they were in the first place. This is a bit of a funny example, but our lives are full of these kinds of three acorn in the morning situations. If you think about it, you might find any number of things in your life that you have held as important or that you think have to be done in a certain way, but in the end, it all comes out to seven acorns. Thank you for watching. Peace and blessings.